In this video, we'll see how to draft architectural details with Rayon. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is a three-part series on how to draft with Rayon. Previously, we saw how to draw floor plans, sections and elevations, and in this one, we'll look at how to draw architectural details in section. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. If you're getting introduced to Rayon for the first time, you can get started for free from the link in the description. Let's begin with the same Rayon template that we used previously in the past videos. Head over to Layers and we'll select the Wall Layer. Let's begin using the Polyline, the Shortcut key, and start drafting the outlines of the wall section. The height of the base footing is 0.2 meters and the width of the base is 0.6 meters. Using the rectangle tool, I'm creating the block work of the foundation. Let's depict three layers of block work with a small gap in between them. At the top end of the block work is where we have the existing ground line, so let's mark that using a line on the left side. Using this as a base, we know that the form flow level is 0.45 meters above, so let's mark that on the right side using a line. We now have the existing ground line and the form flow level, so let's start detailing the rest of the areas. The wall thickness above the ground level is going to be 0.35 meters, and we'll mark that using a polyline. To match the style of the previous polyline, we can use this tool called Style Picker. The wall section has three layers of details in between them, so we'll have to divide the wall section accordingly. Let's create three equal spaced lines between them and a 0.05 on the right side. Similarly, the floor section also has three divisions, the first layer being the concrete flooring of 0.07, second layer being the street flooring of 0.15. Let's also mark a small layer of 1 cm and this is going to be the damp proof course. Below that, we have the beam and the floor blocks which can be represented in a distance of 0.15. Let's connect them horizontally with the line tool. Using the rectangle tool once again, we can create the exterior bricks of the facade. These bricks have a dimension of 0.1 by 0.06. They also have an equal spacing of 0.01 in between them, so we can use the move command to create this distance. Let's copy the rectangles one over the other to fill up this section. Press X to explore the polyline tool and we can delete the top line. In between the vertical division of the wall section, we have a small cavity as well as the insulation. So we'll have to divide this area equally. To represent the cavity line, we can create a line in between, head over to stroke and choose dash. Rayon offers a variety of dash lines to choose from. When you scroll down, you will see this dash line called batting. Choose that and it's updated in the section. Let's now create the internal block works and these are blocks in a dimension of 0.1 by 0.2. A rectangle on the right end represents the internal plasterboard. On the base of the flooring, we have the block work once again, separated by the concrete beams. So let's create these block works with a distance of 0.1. I'm drawing the section of the floor beam using the polyline tool once again. Select the lines and press J to join and in case you want to explode them, just press X. A rectangle on the left side of 150mm represents the exterior DPC. We have now created the line work of the section, so let's jump in and start adding the hatches. Let's draw a rectangle, head over to fill and choose hatch. We have a variety of patterns to choose from and additionally we can also import files from the local drive to add custom matches. Similarly for the block work, we can use a square pattern and I'm changing the rotation of the hatches. Rayon offers great customization options with the hatches as well. Now the best thing is, you can simply copy the rest of the rectangles where you want to apply these hatches and simply use the style picker tool to match the hatches. This saves a lot of time in the drafting workflow. 
I'm creating another polyline to mark the outlines and we can change them to add hatch patterns. Let's draw the continuation line using the polyline and click on this trim option to trim these lines. I'm also adding a simple white fill above the continuation lines so that the drawing looks seamless. Let's create a rectangle and pick another hatch pattern for the street flooring. Let's pick an oblique pattern for the exterior walls and match the same with the rest of the bricks. We'll have to represent the DPC in this gap here. So let's create a line and change the stroke. To add custom patterns, you can simply copy a hatch, head over to the upload and you'll have to choose a PAT file from your local drive. You can find a lot of PAT files from the internet as well. I have a triangular hatch to represent the RCC. Let's use the curve tool to create the boundary for the infill. We can now adjust the colors of the lines and hatches accordingly to see what best fits for the drawing. I'm also arranging the layers based on the section. Now before adding the label and annotations, we'll have to group the drawing and create a copy. Let's resize the copy and once resized, we'll have to adjust the hatches and line thickness of this group. Once you're happy with that, head over to library and search tag. We can add the elevation marks to represent the heights of the section. To start adding annotations, you can search for leader or use the shortcut dr. You can simply point to the element in the drawing and rayon will create a leader where you can add the text. We can change the text style and heights of the text accordingly and add them to the rest of the drawing. That brings us to the end of the drawing and to be able to plot them, let's copy the template that we created previously and place it over this group. Resize this accordingly. Head over to the pages tab on the left side, click the three dots, export and save it as a PDF. Here is the final section that we created. You can download the drawing template of the NA house including the floor plans, sections and elevations and the architectural details completely for free from the link in the description. Open the link, duplicate the model and you're ready to go. So that was it from drawing section details with Rayon. I hope you found this series to be helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.